<clears throat> hey. Yo. Nice weather, huh? <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> so you think free will exists? <coughs> Do you think you're better than us, huh, mister? Oh yes, I don't like small talk. Well, that's some big talk coming from a guy who says he doesn't like small talk- Wait a second. I mean, sure. Debating with your hairdresser the temperature at which it is no longer acceptable to wear shorts is not the most practical use of time nor words, especially considering that every female on your college campus will continue to wear shorts no matter what the temperature is, yet may still throw on an extra heavyweight cover coat to confuse the enemy. But if you think that discussing your favorite weapon combinations in the 2007 hit video game Team Fortress 2 is any more productive, you may have a rare condition called having different interests than the person you are talking to or perhaps just had a conversation. Itis. <laughs> you see, contrary to popular belief, small talk is not restricted to weather good or weather bad. Talking smallly is any time the conversation is not working towards the achievement of some goal. For example, if I say there's someone behind you, that is for the purpose of warning you that someone behind you has unknown intentions and you may want to turn around. Not small talk. Similarly, if I say, yo, hand me that 2x4, that is for the purpose of <laughs> small talk, on the other hand, has no practical purpose. Instead, it is used for bonding. And I suppose that serious talk can also be used for bonding if you're a chemist, but that means whenever you're making extremely workplace-friendly jokes with your friends, talking about how amazing Across the Spider-Verse is, saying how hyped you are for Beyond the Spider-Verse, wondering how delayed Beyond the Spider-Verse will be because of the writer's strike, expressing your hope that no one was overworked on Across the Spider-Verse because of how epic it is... You talk small. 90% of your conversations are already small talk. Emotional investment does not mean it is not small talk. You could be pouring your heart out to your BFF4L heart emoji about your hopes and dreams to become a singer-songwriter, and that can still be small talk because the point of that conversation is not to rope your friend into helping you plan out the next five years of your life, but to share something that you're excited about, and for them to join in on that excitement, and maybe share something that they're excited about as well. The whole purpose of small talk is to get emotionally invested in other people. So when you say you hate small talk, you don't actually mean small talk. You mean that feeling of, Oh my gosh, Kyle just sat next to me in class. I do not want to talk to this person right now. I have nothing to say. We don't share anything in common, and I probably won't see him again after this semester anyway. But social conventions demand we speak. If all you're doing is maintaining a social relationship instead of bonding over something specific, like... <clears throat> hey, how's it going? Pretty good. How are you? Not bad. That is more specifically fatic conversation. No, no, no. Fatic. I know what you were thinking. Saying, how are you, in that context, is not encouraging the listener to dictate his struggle with loot box addiction. It's just being polite. And this kind of conversation is important, because walking 27 feet to the office water cooler at the same time as Gerard Butler, without so much as a glance acknowledging his existence, is prime real estate for him debating what he did wrong when he saw you at the church potluck last week, as he's lying awake at night with his brain replaying today's greatest hits. So, if you think small talk or these bits of saying hi to people you recognize is pointless, you're wrong. And if you don't like small talk, it's probably because you're bad at it. So how was Thanksgiving last month? 